The theme of today's video is IPL, which is both intriguing and informative. You must be astonished to learn that data science plays a significant part in things like IPL. How to construct a winning IPL team while spending the least amount of money feasible using data science. In today's piece, we will discover it. In this video, I will explain the data science underpinning IPL as well as propose an intriguing career opportunity. Data science is applied in a rather unusual and intriguing way in cricket and the IPL. The IPL debuted in 2008 and it significantly transformed the cricket industry since there had never been such a large amount of money invested in cricket before. Considering the 2020 auction, a total of rupees 400 crore was spent on the players. IPL is costing a lot of money. Data collection and data analysis in IPL has advanced to the next level. Since, with IPL teams spending a lot of money on players, it has become vital for IPL teams to determine whether or not to spend on a certain player or how useful is the player going to be in the team. IPL teams have begun to hire proper organizations who specialize in such data analysis, companies that assess how excellent players are and devise plans for those players are known as performance analytics firms. These data analysis firms thoroughly examine player data to determine who excels in certain areas. MVPI or the most valuable player index is a weighted composite score of a player's many traits that have used in the IPL. Let's take a look at some of the batsman metrics here. 1. Physical strength. The following calculation is used to calculate how many sixes and fours a batter scores. Hard hitting ability is equals to force plus sixes upon batsman ball played. How many force and sixes has the batman hit in the IPL career divided by the number of balls he has played? This determines the player's ability to hit hard. 2. Finishing ability. The number of not out innings divided by the total number of innings played. Finishing ability is equals to total inning plays upon not out innings. Third, player consistency, total run upon number of timeouts. Fourth, between wicket running, total run minus fours plus sixes upon total ball played minus boundary balls. If this fourth measure is higher in a batter than the hard hitting metrics, it is easy to conclude that he is not strong at hitting boundaries but is good at getting singles, twos and threes on the other ball. Similarly, some bowling metrics are number one, economy run scored upon number of balls thrown by baller upon six number two wicket taking ability number of balls bowled upon wicket taken number three consistency run conceded upon wicket taken number four crucial wicket taking ability number of occasions four or five wickets were taken upon number of innings played this data allows us to understand the weak and strong areas of various players such as whether a player is good at hitting boundaries or running between the wickets whether a bowler performs better against left-handed batsman or right-handed batsman and whether a batsman performs better against the spinners or fast bowlers during the auctioning of players IPL teams with less money will want to know if the player they are getting is worth the money they paid for their team because the most expensive player in the IPL auction is not usually the top performing player in the IPL. The clearest example of this would be inaugural season of the IPL in 2008 when the Rajasthan Royals won the trophy despite being one of the cheapest teams in the league. It indicates that the money they spent on players was far less than what other clubs paid. Despite being one of the least expensive teams, they won the IPL. The IPL 2008 auction list is shown below. Data science is employed in more than only auctioning players and establishing teams. After that, machine learning techniques are applied to anticipate match results. Different models are constructed using programming and computers in which inputs such as a player's position, the location of the match, the weather of the day and so on are all incorporated as variables and these models forecast the future results of the matches based on previous matches. If you supply data input from prior matches such as the sites of the matches, teams that participated, players that were there and the sort of players that were present, the outcome of the current matches may be predicted in the future. 
obviously it will not be completely correct but it may be rather beneficial for data preparation and analysis programming languages such as python and libraries such as pandas matplotlib and cborn are used if you find it entertaining and informative at the same time don't forget to like and share the video with your friends also subscribe to the learn way channel